Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. So I have fed my sourdough starter, and I've got it. Um, I had a half a cup in there, so I fed it a half cup of rye flour. Wish I could get some more, but everybody's out of it. All I use it for is to feed my starter. But it's okay if you don't have it. You can feed it with regular flour. But I, I fed a half a cup of starter, a half a cup of warm water, and half a cup of flour. So in a couple hours, it should be ready to go, and I will uh, mix the dough up and bring y'all along for the process, and then we'll put it in the refrigerator, and as quick as I can turn the camera off and on, we'll be back with the dough ready to make pizza when it's really been overnight. So y'all just come on over, and as soon as this gets bubbling, we'll mix it up, and then we'll let it sleep where it's nice and cool, and then we're going to put it in the fire. We're going to put it in the oven. It's going to feel hot. I will see y'all back here in just a jiffy. Okay, you see how bubbly that yeast, that a starter is? That tells me that it is ready to use. And it was only one cup in this quart, and now it's bubbled up to half full. So I know that it's um, active and ready for me to use. So I'm going to measure out my cup full, and then we'll get over to the... Bosch mixer and I'll mix up our pizza dough. Okay, when I watched the Needy Homesteader make hers, she did it in grams. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of yeast. I also need a fourth of a cup of olive oil. I need one cup of starter active good and bubbling and boy this is this looks good it's bubbling really really good I'm going to need a fourth of a cup of semolina flour and if you don't have that you can just use all purpose totally and I'm going to need about 10 to 11 ounces of uh, warm water. Okay, now it has to knead for 10 minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay, I've got it. I put just a little bit of flour on my uh, mat here. Just enough to keep it from being too sticky, and I'm just going to shape it into a ball. And I'm going to put it in my little, um, I've got just a little plastic tub here that I'm going to put it in. And uh, put it in the refrigerator, I'm going to cover it with a damp towel. And I'm going to let it rise in the icebox for 24 hours. Okay, y'all, I've got it covered, and I'm going to put it in the icebox. Just wanted to show you, it's all put to bed. I had tried to convert this to uh, ounces and I didn't get it right so I went back and I, I know what I had put in so I put it on the scale and measured it to be sure that it had all the proportions right but the recipe calls for 500 grams y'all need to get your pencil and paper and write this down so I'm going to give you just a minute for the sourdough pizza dough you're going to need 500 grams of flour, that's all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of yeast, one-fourth of a cup or 50 grams of semolina flour, 200 grams of your sourdough starter, 50 grams of olive oil, 325 milliliters of warm water and then you know how we mixed it and then we put it in our container to put in the refrigerator for 24 hours and um, I gave you some instructions while I was mixing it once it cleans the sides of the bowl you're going to knead it with your mixer for 10 minutes and then we're going to then you're going to put it into a container so that you can put it in the refrigerator overnight or for 24 hours. And then the next step, we will bring it back and let it get to room temperature and deflate it. 
and we'll make our pizza crust and make our pizzas. But y'all, I think it's time to make the pizza crust. I took it out of the refrigerator probably 30 minutes ago and I've letting it kind of come to room temperature. So what I'm going to do is divide it in half and make two large pizzas. And um, I'm going to bring the camera over where y'all can just watch while I make the crust and while I load the pizza. And I'll tell you what I'm putting on it. I'm going to deflate the dough. Feels good. I hope it rolls out and does as good as it feels. And I'm going to try, I'm just going to guesstimate half of it. And then I'm going to put some oil on it. And this is olive oil that's infused with garlic that I got at Costco and I absolutely love it. I'm going to see if I can just stretch it out here with my hands and not have to get a rolling pin out. Maybe I can. And I did spray my stone with some uh, kitchen spray. Now there's a little hole forming over there. I'll just patch that little booger. I wonder if I can pick it up and flip it over. See if it'll be more pliable. I want to try to make me a little edge on it. Y'all, I let my little chickens out. Uh, they've been here several days now, so I let them out to free range, and they're just having a ball out there. I let them, yesterday was the first day they got to get out, and they, they're just having fun digging in all the pine straw and eating all the bugs. So they should be happy little, happy little hens. So this is just an organic, uh, pizza spaghetti sauce and I'm just going to use it like pizza sauce but I'm not going to just overload it I'm just going to lightly lightly put it because I'm going to add some more after I get my stuff on it I want a big old fat pizza when I get my piece I want it to be very filling and I let me get my pepperoni, and I'll put some pepperoni on it. Okay. I got some hamburger, and this has been in the freezer, because what I do, I buy my uh, meat, and then I'll eat, sometimes I'll cook it with onions and bell pepper, and sometimes I cook it just plain, and I go ahead and freeze it, and that way when I get ready to use it, it's already cooked. And this is going to cook in a 400 degree oven, so it's going to have time to, to thaw. Okay, I want a little bit of ham. Got like some Italian uh, style, and this has got Let's see what else. And it's got four cheeses in it. Mozzarella, provolone, asiago, and uh, cheddar. So I'm going to put a little of this on before I put my vegetables on. Now, let me bring my veggies over. See, I've got them ready. I have onions, bell pepper, black olives, fresh tomato, and spinach is going on the other one. So just the... Uh, bell peppers and onions and olives are going to go on this one. Now I, I think I told y'all before, but one time I was in the store and the people from the Little Caesars Pizza Place was in there, a lady, and she was buying all of the frozen bell peppers and uh, onions 
And I said, what? And she had her little Caesars rigging on. I said, what are you going to do with all them? And she said, well, our truck didn't get here. And she said, uh, we use the ones that are frozen because they cook quicker. They're already soft. So I don't know if when they come in on their truck, they come in, uh, you know, I don't know. But that's what she was doing. So if I have some that I bought that's like that, I go ahead and use them. But today I did it. <clears throat> I'm going to use this um, Italian glue. Because it's got the mozzarella in it that's going to make it stringy and cheesy. Now one more thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, sprinkle some garlic powder on it. My garlic powder. That's going to be good. Okay, now I took this pan and sprayed it also. Let me get my other dough. Make it workable a little better. It's kind of sticky. I might not have halved it, reckon, or this pan's probably a little bit smaller than the other one. But when I did this the other day, Troy really liked it, so. If I thought it would cook, I'd put some minced garlic on it, but I'll just do garlic powder on it. Of course, I'm sure everybody's got their own way of doing and putting, and this is just how I'm doing it this time. Sometimes we do. I'll, I have another pizza dough recipe that I make and uh, it just has to rest a jiffy and then you can use it. So I'll make it up and the kids make their own, uh, everybody makes their own pizza. Some of them want shrimp on there, some of them want Alfredo sauce, so, I mean pineapple and ham. They, they have their own little things that they want to make. I'm going to put a little spinach around on it. And this is just some spinach that I bought that was ready to use. Of course, I always pick through it and cut it up like I want it. And then I'm going to put some slices of fresh tomato. Ooh, wouldn't it be good if our garden was coming in and we had garden tomatoes? That would be delightful. I went out and planted six more tomatoes today. We always do... Uh, Celebrity. That's what has done the best for us through the years. But today, I planted, uh, we've got celebrity to put in the ground. But I planted Early Girl and Better Boy, too. So we'll see if we have any luck with those this time. I just hope that we have uh, tomatoes. I need to make some salsa, folks. Our tomatoes last year didn't really make, and I had to uh, had to buy some tomatoes. Romas make good salsa, so if I don't have enough that I grow, this is mozzarella, by the way. I'm just going to put some plain mozzarella on this one too. And when the oven, when the other one gets done, I'll pull it out and I'll put this one in, and I'll bring y'all back. I just thought I would show y'all. This is just cooking in the regular oven. Ooh, I can't wait. Gonna be so good. Okay, y'all. I got the first one out of the oven. And oh my goodness, it looks wonderful. And if you could only smell. It smells like I'm at the Italian restaurant. I think it turned out beautifully. Now, we gotta let the one cook that uh, has the fresh tomatoes and all that on it. It's in the oven now. And I'll bring it out and show it to you in about 20 minutes. Okay, I've got some of both of them. The Supreme is plated up and then the one with the um, tomatoes and spinach on it. 
fix to hand Troy his plate and let him be a taste tester, but he won't get on here and talk, I'm sure. Sure, I'm glad y'all came in the kitchen while I was making this pizza. I've never done sourdough crust before, but it tastes yummy. So, y'all give it a try, but remember on the crust, go by the weight. Uh, not by trying to figure it out into ounces, because that didn't quite work out. Maybe I didn't know what I was doing. Anyhow, y'all stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay home. Wear a mask when you go to town. Keep your six-foot distance from everybody, and let's get this mess over with so we can go when we get good and ready. The good Lord bless y'all. Come back here in a day or two, and we'll do something else yummy.